everyone, welcome to Go Cross Day One. This is a pre-ride of the course. This is Zoe. We're on the bike with her today, um, so she's gonna walk us through the course. Let's go ahead and get started. Coming through the start finish here. Tell me about the first few turns, elevation, stuff like that. Yeah, this first turn's pretty easy. You just kind of go from the pavement onto the grass, but it's a smooth transition. But this hill is a kicker. You definitely feel it, and it's super early on. So having that like straight out of the gate is gonna do some stuff for sure. Um, Coming around a little guy there. Um, I think that's Collins Lale, actually. <laughs> She's doing a Shout hot out. lap with uh, Emily Shields yep. and uh, Spencer and a few others. Looks like pretty grassy course. Is that yeah, right? Very grassy. Lots of fast turns. This one right here is a fun one. It's off camber, but you can rip it pretty hard. Emily just sent that. It's uh, good. This this part is kind of tricky because you've got this like right hand and then it's immediately a left hand but it gets kind of dirty in the middle of the left hand and you're going down yeah onto the, the pavement there and crossing the course also a smooth transition so that's a nice one you don't have to worry about like bumping rims or anything nice coming through near the pit here is it on the right or yeah it's on the right they had a nice little pool set up on the left though and then under the flyover which you can see on the little map down there in red um, Looks like a lot of these corners might change to a little harder dirt and grass. Yeah, I'm interested to see like how they change as people ride them throughout the day. This one, you kind of, yeah, swing wide. I didn't really get the hang of this one until a few more laps in. I was like, whoa, that was a, that was new. Nice. Yeah, it looks like a little like gradual up here. They, they did change the course from last year. So there's no like water bars in it, right? Um, just a lot of grass and tight turns. A lot of grass. There, there definitely is some um, bumpier sections where you're kind of rolling a little bit. But yeah, for the most part, it's just like pedaling and yeah, I got a good little bump there. This part is kind of bumpy where it gets dry and you can see we sort of like went over a little rise there. So you just kind of have to like float off the saddle. I remember last year it was kind of, yeah, that right? there's definitely a lot of like, oh, I'm not sitting down anymore. You just kind of try to find the seat again. And just like almost standing up, but yeah. kind of sitting down pedaling at the same time. Yep. Are you getting close to the sand pit here? Yeah. So okay. we'll make this like right hand turn, um, the sharp, sharp right hand turn where these yellow gates are. It's like a pretty significant hairpin and then we'll make a left hand turn here in the sand. Yeah, it's kind of a weird course where, do you turn onto the sand this year also? Yeah, okay. so you'll see here, we make the left hand and then you're onto the sand. And it was pretty worn in when we were riding it, so very easy to pedal through. Not, you know, too, too tricky yet. Yeah, it looks kind of hard packed. I remember last year they graded it before the course, so yeah. or before the start, so it might be a little soft the first few laps. But I remembered, yeah, it, it got hard packed throughout the course, so it probably will be the same thing. Kind of wood section here. Yeah, Rock. this is this is kind of fun. That turn right there, there you can see it marked in you know all the orange. They have it highlighted. But yeah, there are a bunch of roots and rocks on that. Kind of like in the apex of the turn, so it makes it a little bit tricky choosing a line of how to carry speed, but go around them and not hit them too hard. And then there's that little like whoop that you come over. Yeah. Right after. I saw a few different lines there. Did you ever figure out like? your favorite line through that part or um, does it not really matter it doesn't really matter it's a little bit dry in the middle but you can easily ride through that um this berm oh, right here is okay, pretty hey. good it's yeah i mean on like, the outside yeah, yeah yeah i remember last year you just like set up wide and just continue on the berm yeah um, instead of like a normal apex yeah oh this looks pretty fast yeah this is a good setup too because you're gonna about you're about to go uphill a little bit here this climb's got some roots so it's not super smooth you're kind of like your back wheel is bouncing around a little bit. And then this is this is the tricky turn here. You can see there's a high line. Emily took the low line and carried a lot of speed through it, but I definitely saw people taking the high line too. Um, and then there are some rocks in the middle that make the exit kind of tricky. You can't just fully like, well, I mean, you can, but yeah, it makes it, you have to be on the line for sure. And yeah. if you're not, you're, it's a little bit rough. <laughs> I remember last year, is there still like a root in the middle of that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so if you take it too fast and you hit that root, I think um, one of the, the riddles crashed on that. Yeah, I was um, talking to one of them earlier and he also crashed on it again this year. It's, uh, I crashed on it last year, so um, 
definitely a speed limit on that one, but it's still fast and uh, you have to choose the right line. More it's like turns. This one is tricky because you can see you go down, but you can't go all the way down in the turn because it goes into this kind of like water runoff ditch area. So you have to stay up high and just kind of traverse for a little while before you cut up. This is a good one. You can go pretty fast mm -hmm. on this, but you do got to watch out that you don't uh, end up in the course tape because <laughs> I could see that happening pretty easily. <laughs> And then you're coming down. Is there still like a run up around yeah, here? Yeah, there's some. Um, oh, the there's stairs just... right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hop off for the stairs. Yeah. They look about the same as last year. Yeah. What do you think? Suitcasing it or are you shouldering it here? Um, I just carried it, picked it up. High suitcase. Yeah, high suitcase. But I did end up um, like half suitcasing it another time when I did it. I think I like that a little bit better just because they are so tall. You don't have to pick your arms up quite as much. Smack your. Uh, Smack your wheels on it, lose yeah, the momentum. Yeah. So, so it looks like they have. You're going back past the pits again here, and then this is where you go up over the flyover. Uh huh. Okay. I gotcha. So uh, right before the flyover is where another pit entrance is. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if it's another pit entrance or if they'll do it on the second day. These barriers are kind of tricky because you go into them on a straightaway, so it feels like you should be able to go into them fast, but it's enough of an uphill that you can't really coast into it. Like, you do have to be pedaling. Or you will lose momentum. <laughs> and those are black bib barriers, which uh, Starlight is actually who gave us kits this year. Kind of a, a little segue to our sponsor there. Um, yeah, thanks thanks guys over at Starlight. Continuing on the course after their uh, black bibs barriers, we got a little uphill. Yep. Kind of an awkward turn. Yeah, it's if you kind of do it in a straight line, you can kind of go from like one corner to the other in a pretty good bit. Um, and at this point, you're probably pretty tired in the lap anyway. Yeah, because um, it's it's late on. This is sort of like the last notable climb here. Sort of a bumpy entrance onto it. So that kind of sucks a little bit. It kills some of your momentum. You don't just like whoosh up it super easily. But you get a little bit of recovery here with some flat, fast um, turns and lots of lots of off cambery stuff. Yeah. Looks like, yes, a, a little elevation at the end of the lap, and then you'll be coming down through a few of these fast, yeah, yeah that, that's a good one corners. right there, and nice. kind of buff, yeah, go over that. This one's a little bit technical again, like, some of them are just so, because they're so fast, you carry speed through them so well, you do just end up really close to the tape on either end, and that's really what makes it the most tricky, is that you don't have infinite space to carry all the speed, so to figure out where to where to manage it, yeah. How to push the tape, when to push the tape, yeah. when not to push the tape. <laughs> when not to. It's like a little off camber here yeah. into... A bit of a straightaway and then you make a right hand turn downhill and you're back on the pavement. And this transition is a bit um, rough. There's kind of an edge here on the pavement, so... Ooh. You gotta watch out, gotta for, watch that. out for that, yeah. Get, you don't want to get pushed into those barriers. No, those cool. ones don't give as easily. So this is the finish. <laughs> nice paved possible sprint area. Yeah. Pretty cool. Awesome. Ooh, that's it. That's the end of the lap. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, look out for us in Velocious. I'm not going to be racing because I broke my collarbone <laughs> uh, last weekend. But Zoe here, we've got uh, the red pants, probably the only red pants in the, in the cross series this year. And then Kate will be with us in the dudes race later today. Thanks for watching and uh, see ya.